Hey everybody, it's the Sketch Monkey here. Welcome back to the channel. We did the E63 AMG redesign, the rear view of it. We did that a couple of days ago, maybe a week ago or something like that. But what I want to do in this video is I want to make a complete 360 view and redesign the new 2021 E63 AMG into a more classic Mercedes AMG Hammer original look. But make it look like it's an AMG Hammer that could have been built today. So that's what we're going to do here. So this is, of course, the front view of the E63 AMG. So what needs to happen here in order to make it into a retro design? Well, I think right now, Mercedes, the front looks a little bit better than the rear here. And I'm going to link the rear redesign video up here in the corner so you can go check that out first. But what I think is that the design like the global design language of cars nowadays are starting to f to melt together so you don't have the separation geographically where the car is coming from where the design originates from so Germany for example to me has always had this structured design with very straight and horizontal lines and the graphics fit within those horizontal lines and you can see here if we look at this front view of the new E63 it's very smooth very organic and they also flipped this grill upside down they used to be have the corners be like this on the previous 2020 model which I think looks a lot better than this but we're not gonna worry about that in this video what we're going to do is we're going to completely redesign the front end here we're going to remove some of the curvatures up here in the corners of the of the roof line in the greenhouse and also stretch this shoulder line to have it be solid and go in to the headlight which is going to be something like this so I want to have an old W24 124 headlight and then the grill goes in this direction instead of this direction and have it go down into the bumper just a little bit something like this you know the traditional old classic Mercedes styling in the front and the bumper down here looks too organic for me to be a Mercedes I know those are the times that we live in with a lot of organic shapes and round curvatures and radiuses and stuff like that. But still, I want Mercedes and I want the different geographical locations of the brand themselves. I want them to be separate. And this to me looks a little bit too Korean, too Hyundai or too Kia. I want to have some more structures, some more Germanness in this design if that makes sense. So what I'm gonna do is remove this curvature right here and have this be a straight intake like this. Since it's an AMG model, we can make this intake a little bit bigger than it would be on a regular uh, E-Class, but we can also add some carbon fiber bits in the bottom of this. So we can have some carbon fiber lips, maybe go down something like that, just to make it look like an, a modern AMG hammer, if you will. With that said, let's jump in to the redesign here and let's see how this is going to turn out. And then I'm going to come back at the end of the video and kind of summarize what happened here.
view it's going to change all the way up to the last minute or even second of this redesign so I would encourage you to stick around until the very end of this video to see the final final result but what I want to do here is to clean it up and have bring back that Mercedes solid tank like structure but of course have it look like it, it could be built today and that means using modern graphics and apply that onto that old design language such as the grill is very modern same with the headlights but at the same time I want to keep the LED running lights I want to have them be very very simple these lights in combination with for example a backlit star in the middle of the grill this would make a very distinct front fascia for this design and also have it be recognizable very easily when it's dark out but the main idea with this redesign was to bring back the boxiness of the 90s and the boxiness of german design in general and have that be one of the key features of this redesign and in that fit all the graphical elements of the car and try to have that work together with all the boxy lines that we added to this car and one of these things that i really wanted to add was to make a a really distinct cut line where the hood ends so i added this chamfer that goes above the headlights up and onto above the grill as well and then continues of course into the second the the other headlights on the side so if you look at this from a street front view you're going to see very a tight a very thin chamfer that goes or above the headlights into the grill and that's going to mark the end of the hood down at the bottom wanted to simplify the graphics of course of the air intakes of the 2021 e63 which is very curvy very organic and simplify that bring back the old w124 style but with some modern graphics inside that of course as well and that's about it for this redesign of the e63 we now have both the front view and the rear view and you can go check out the rear view in a previous video that i did if you enjoyed this video which i think you did since you're here and this is the end of the video give it a thumbs up it really means a lot i'm the sketch monkey take care and i will see you in the next video